so this table right here, this corner of my shop has been a dead workstation for about two, actually probably two and a half years because this old Porter cable cutoff saw, the brushes burn out of it and I haven't fixed them and I had other ways to cut steel. So I just kind of walked away from this and it's been just sitting here accumulating dust. But I like it or I liked it and I used it a lot. You've seen Cy use it. There are things you can do with this that are just hard to do in other ways. There are also other saws that will cut steel in many ways cleaner and with less muss and fuss. It's not a miter box, it's not a miter saw, it's specifically for cutting metal. You put a carborundum blade in there, a low RPM carborundum blade, not the kind that you would put on a quickie saw or a hot saw, which spins, I think, 5,000 RPMs, but this is for lower speeds. 20 years out of a Porter cable impressed me so much, I just went ahead and bought another one exactly like it. 15 amps, 14 inch diameter. It's light enough you can pick it up and take it out onto a job. So let's clean this station up a little bit, bring that other saw in, and get her going. I got 20 years out of this and I thought, well, it was made in the USA, right? And then I looked at the sticker and it says it was actually made in Taiwan. I like Taiwan. It's a reasonably good place to have something built. This was made in China. I know that Porter Cable is not what they used to be, but there are some features on this saw at 109 bucks that are not on this saw that are improvements. Number one is arm lock. Bam, this one, you had to put the little chain on there. Number two, there's a blade lock. Bam, this one, you had to just hold it with your hand to tighten it or wedge a stick in there or something. Number three, and this was the most unexpected thing. So this, the trigger was okay, but had the little thumb safety button. You had to push in with your thumb to make it go. Actually, no, I think that was to hold it in the on position. Yeah, that's what it was, so I, I got that wrong. That little button was to hold it in the on position. This one doesn't have that, but the handle and the trigger is better. You can get two or three fingers on the trigger. So I don't know what's inside here. It's drawn the same amps. I have no idea about the bearings or the bushings or the brushes or anything else, but for 109 bucks, I have to just shake my head and say, I will take that bargain and I'll use this and I'm glad to have it back in the shop and we're gonna put this back into work and yeah, I try to buy USA when I can, I try to. But having got good service out of this, I have to take them at face value and give Porter Cable one more shot for the abrasive cutoff saw in my blacksmith shop.